Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos with Phones. Today, I'm here in Virginia visiting my parents and I'm gonna do a review and tutorial of the Vita Video Editor app. Let's get to it. So, why is this app from Vita so intriguing? Well, it's free. And it's not 2020 free, it's actually free. There's no in-app purchases. There's no premium add-ons. There's none of that stuff. If you are looking to start a YouTube channel on a budget using just your phone, this is your video editing solution. I all but guarantee it. Stick around for an in-depth tutorial, but you can decide right now that Vita's for you. So, I needed to create a little B-roll sequence to test the video editing capability of the Vita app. And fortunately for me and for you, I guess, my parents just got a new dog. So I figured this would be a cool opportunity for me to make like a little welcome to the family video for them so that they can send it to family from out of town and they can get to know the dog without being here. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that for you. Alrighty, let me know what you thought about that little B-roll sequence down there in the comments. I'm certainly interested to know what you, uh, what you think. I found that the Vita app, as free as it is, has more functionality than the video editing software that I use on my Mac. Um, so that's just, that's really interesting. Does it replace Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro? No, but if you are a beginner just starting a channel, if you are doing everything on your mobile phone, then Vita is certainly, certainly, certainly worth checking out. I have been, to be honest, pretty blown away with what the app can do. So yeah. So up until this point, I've told you that the Vita app is worth checking out, but I haven't really gone in depth into the specifics of why it's worth checking out other than the fact that it's free. Let's get to that right now. The first feature worth noting, especially if you are a true beginner, is going to be the video templates that Vita includes. The B-roll sequence that I did of my parents' new dog, Roscoe, is not using a video template because I wanted the opportunity to kind of fiddle around with all of the different features that come in the app. And I figured that I was limiting my fiddling ability by using a template. I did spend a pretty significant amount of time checking out all the templates. There are ones for YouTube videos. There are ones for Instagram TV, for TikTok, for pretty much anything you can think of, which is awesome because no matter what you're making videos for, there's gonna be a template for you. Not only are these templates super varied, but they're also really easy to add your content to. So you don't need any sort of video editing experience to do this. It's literally just like a plug and play kind of deal. Vita prides itself on the ease of use of the app, and I cannot stress how easy to use the app is. Whether it's trimming clips, whether it's adjusting volume levels, whether it's adding professional looking transitions. It's all easy, it's all free. You can do it today, what are you waiting for? In addition to all these things that I've mentioned, the Vita app is going to do everything that you would expect a video editing app to do. You're gonna be able to crop your stuff, you're gonna be able to add effects like zoom ins and zoom outs. You're gonna be able to mess with your aspect ratio. You're gonna be able to slap filters on that bad boy. There are lots of options. If you have any questions about anything more in depth, more specific, let me know about it in the comments.
that's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It definitely helps photos with phones out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Let me know down there in the comments if you'd like to see the Vita editor app compared to another free video editing app like InShot. After doing this review and tutorial of the Vita app, I'm definitely interested in letting more people know about it and comparing it to the more popular players in the industry. Go ahead and subscribe to Photos with Phones' YouTube channel. We're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking hacks, reviews, app tutorials, just a whole lot of stuff you should check out. Do it now, right now. See ya.